Hey there, Restaurant Pros. David Scott Peters here, creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula and your coach. Have you ever wondered what the most important positions are in your restaurant? If you have, I want to share with you my take on what I see as the top five. Hey, before I go into that, if you like tips and tricks like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and oh yeah, hit that bell so you're notified when my next video tip comes out. And for more tips and tricks running a profitable restaurant or hear restaurant owner success stories, make sure you tune into my podcast, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, found on all the popular podcasting services. First, let me start off by saying everyone in your restaurant is important. As a team, we're working towards one major goal, creating memorable experiences for our guests. We're put on this earth to create memories, right? The guest experience is our priority. And as a team, everyone is needed to achieve our goal. There's not one person who's not important on your team. But for argument's sake, I'm gonna share with you what I think are the top five most important positions in your restaurant and why. Number five, dishwasher. Now the dishwasher is in a major support role. On a busy day where you're getting crushed, they ensure the cooks have the pots and pans and utensils, the plates, right? All the flatwares out there that the servers can have deliver silverware and knives and things like that. They make sure that there are cups that the guests can have sodas and drinks and cocktails and you name it, coffee, you name it. The dishwasher is incredible because In a moment on the line, when you run out of saute pans, your line virtually shuts down. Tickets start to rail. You fall behind. When your guest orders some wonderful cocktail that needs to be in in a beautiful cocktail glass that's missing because they're not clean, you name it. We delay the process for our guests. When we deliver worse, dirty glassware, right? We deliver a coffee cup with lipstick. We deliver beer that has, you know, fingerprints on it on the outside of the glass. We put out flatware that has that crusty, it's clean, right? It's sanitary, but it's got that crusty thing on the edge of the dish. Like your dishwasher is so incredibly important, not only to support your team to make sure they have the tools they need to be successful, but the guest has a great experience that they notice nothing. Now, with that said, as important as I think they are, I put them in the top five. They're the first people to lose hours in the back of house. Why? They're in a support role. They don't make me money. Cooks produce product to make me money. My servers and cashiers sell things. They make me money. All a a dishwasher does is suck up my money. So on slow days, I will cut their hours and I will have my cooks make sure they do dishes. My servers in a full service restaurant scrape dishes, soak silver, right? Make sure they're putting glassware emptied into the racks already. The cooks will do run those. Or if it's so slow, we can stack it all up nice that when the afternoon dishwasher comes in, they hit the ground running and rock and roll. Heck, my manager will do dishes. An owner may do dishes. We're going to do what's necessary. But with that said, that's a slow day. On a busy day, you cannot exist without this support person. They're that important. Number four, line cook. Your line cooks are an integral part of great hospitality. They put out the incredible product your guests want, right? So imagine if you don't have line cooks, you can't get that done. But we need to make sure that our menu allow us to put our best, put out our best product. That menu will allow us to use the fewest number of hours because I can bleed labor Right. If you're one of those restaurants that has an incredible menu from scratch and it's chef driven, fantastic. But if it is so integral that you are taking tweezers to put microgreens on that dish and it's slowing down your productivity to a point where you start losing money, we need to make sure that that's not what's happening. Now it's got to match your core values. And don't get me wrong. You're charging a hundred dollars a plate. We can do microgreens all day long. But the fact of the matter is, Your cooks are vital to your business, but they can also bleed you dry at the time clock if you're not putting out the right menu. Number three, servers and cashiers. These people are so important to you. These are the people who ensure your guests have a great experience. They're frontline. They're seeing the guests eyeball to eyeball, finding out what their likes, their dislikes are, recommending things, making sure they have a great experience, wanting for nothing. They drive your sales. They sell, sell, sell. They upsell. They make sure people have a great experience. 
So when you think about great hospitality, that frontline worker whose eyeball with the guest is extremely important. Now you need to avoid having too many at one time because not only can they bleed you at the clock, but in some states we've got lower minimum wage because of tip credit for them. So we, we often think we can have more. And if you want more, more people, if you have more people online, you want better service, add more. That's kind of a misnomer we have in the industry. The truth couldn't be farther from that. Because think about it, when you have more servers and you have guests on the, in your restaurant, what do they do? They play grab ass at the time clock or really at the POS terminal and they ignore the guest. We want to be busy enough and have just enough people that our pinky toe is in the weeds. We're not in the weeds, but we're almost in the weeds because all we can do is pay attention to the guests and give them a great experience they want for nothing. But more importantly, make sure these people are trained because if they're not, it doesn't matter how many you have you're gonna give your guest a bad experience. Number two on the most important list are restaurant managers. Managers are incredibly important. If you follow me on any level with the Restaurant Prosperity Formula, we, you know that we need managers to execute our systems. So what does that mean? Why do we have managers in the first place to ensure the process is working? Now, let me be very clear. Without systems, your system, your process, your way, I don't need a manager. If I don't have those in place, how do I tell them how I want things done? If I don't train them on what I want done, what the job is, how to do it, how well they should be done, more importantly, by when, how can I expect them to do the job? And ultimately, I must be willing to hold them accountable to the job. Because without accountability, things still don't happen. And oh, by the way, restaurant owners, you often waste money by not putting systems in place, by not training them, by not holding them accountable, by creating key turners. They're not managers. And then you wonder why you spend the money. But again, these managers help you proactively manage your business. Now, the number one position in your restaurant, drum roll please, you, the restaurant owner, the restaurant owner, you, you're incredibly important. You're the leader your restaurant needs. You work on budgets, marketing, developing your management team and holding them accountable. You keep the company moving forward to make your dreams a reality, to make sure the guest has the best experience possible, to employ your, your people, to make sure they have ga they're gainfully employed and feed their families and pay their bills, to be there for your community. The restaurant owner, you are most important because ultimately nothing happens in your restaurant without your leadership. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, I wanna make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run. With these trained and responsible people in place, you can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free training course that teaches you exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.